Hey, it's Lise Wheel here. We're going to do a video blog on occasion for YouTube and also LiseWheelBooks.com, LiseWheelBooks.com. So check it out. Check out Face of Betrayal and look at the uh, the tease for Hand of Fate. Um, I think you'll find it interesting. And what we'd really like to have is for y'all to write in at LiseWheelBooks.com with your questions so that I can come on here and not just be blabbing about the stories of the day, but actually answer your questions. I'd love to about Face of Betrayal, Hand of Fate, the legal issues of the day. That's really what I'm here to do as, as a legal analyst and as your buddy. Um, the big stories today, I mean, People Magazine, this is where I go for my research, People Magazine, the Travolta case, um, how they tried to save their son, Jet. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that the Travoltas lost their son, Jet. He was a teenager and they were on vacation in the Bahamas. Um, he had a seizure he, and the paramedics uh, came to, to get him. And the Travoltas at first said to themselves, look, he's autistic, let's get him off of the island, let's get him to a proper you know, hospital, let's take him to the airport. They signed a waiver with the paramedics saying they wouldn't hold the paramedic liable. A few minutes later they decided, no, it's an emergency situation, we better get him to the hospital right away. They actually rode with that same paramedic that they'd signed the waiver to the hospital to take care of Jet, and unfortunately he died. Um, can you believe it that the next thing that happened in the Travolta's life was the same paramedic, somebody who was charged with taking care of their son, turned around and with a local politician in the Bahamas tried to extort $25 million from the Travolta's for that waiver. In other words, he would go public with the waiver saying, you weren't good parents, you know, that was the, that was the implication. Thank goodness John Travolta and his wife went to law enforcement right away they uncovered these guys, uh, these two the paramedic and the politician. They're now on trial. And Travolta has had to testify twice about this, actually had to take the stand. Can you imagine? I mean, he just lost his son, and then he's got to be in a criminal trial on extortion charges. But he did. He, t he testified. The trial is still going on. And I hope you'll agree with me that uh, I hope the judge and jury find those two guilty of extortion. It was so clear and complete, $25 million they were asking for, and put those guys in jail. And, you know, it's funny, it's sort of like extortion has been the, the key for this week, the David Letterman case. He did the right thing. He did the right thing in going to law enforcement as soon as that uh, guy came and said, I've got this screenplay and it's going to take you down. Um, what happens now in the criminal justice system, we'll see. Uh, but he did the right thing, at least in going to law enforcement on that. Um, We've been following the Yale case, the case of the missing student. This was a, this was a terrible case. Miss Lee, a 24-year-old from California, she was in, in Yale as a graduate student, and her body was found in a wall in beside the lab where she worked um, on the day, on a Sunday a few weeks ago, the day she was supposed to be married. I came out on Strategy Room, one of the shows here on Fox, and thought, you know, that sort of speculated that that seemed to be too coincidental that she was actually her body was found on the day she was supposed to be married was it some jilted law, uh, lover or something like that lawyer Freudian slip, slip. Um, and it wasn't that at all apparently allegedly this alleged killer he's pleading not guilty at this point was somebody that worked in the lab a lab technician with her and his motive allegedly that he didn't like the way she was treating uh, rats uh, laboratory animals Wow, well, there may be an insanity defense there, but clearly he knew right from wrong because he put her, if he did so, and the DNA is there, and a confession is there, and he failed a polygraph, so the evidence is pretty good, he put her body actually in a wall. Um, so some really sad cases out there today. I'll try to, as we go through this, uh, find some funny ones too, because law is all about people and stories and messes that they get into, and some of them are kind of funny. Um, which has always been a I think we're being interrupted here back in Strategy Room at Fox, so I'll finish my blog with saying I'm um, glad that you tuned in. Tune into YouTube. Check it out on LeaseWheelBooks.com. And let's make this fun. Let's make this interactive. Send me your questions, and I'll read them off right here and we can have a chat. See you soon.